All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello to all of the viewers out there. All right. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. Okay. This will be an all signs general energy pool for this week. Each sign will be time stamped. All right. So you can just click on the time next to your sign and go from there. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome. I will be going from Pisces to Aquarius. And uh, yeah, I will also be going live tonight for live questions and answers. If you are wanting to join in, you are more than welcome. And uh, last thing, don't forget to press the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. It lets me know you are in support of the channel. And it also lets me know that the reading resonates with your situation. All right, let's see what's going on with the sign of Pisces. Pisces for this week. Current energy for Pisces. Okay. Four of Swords, Eight of Wands, Past Energy is the Six of Cups. What else is here? Okay. Overall Energy, Three of Wands. Hope everyone is doing well on today. I may just... um. Sometimes if the cards be stuck together and they act like they don't want to come out. Or, Pisces, some of you may not be talking to someone right now. Or there's like little to no communication. Okay, let me know in the comment section below what's going on. Okay. All right, let's see. <clears throat> So, Pisces, right now, some of you are contemplating about a, a conversation. You're thinking about a conversation. You are meditating on a conversation. Some of you may, um, some of you may be thinking about a vacation as well. Traveling, just taking a flight out to somewhere. Let me know in the comment section if you're thinking about taking a trip or vacation somewhere with your family, or if you're Focus on a conversation with someone. Okay? This is um, either or. I feel like that's what's on your mind. Some of you are planning for the future. You could be planning to travel. Okay? Planning to have a conversation with someone about traveling. All right? But I'm definitely seeing someone here thinking about a conversation. I feel like in the past there was... An opportunity for a reconciliation, coming back together with someone. And someone here possibly held back. Yeah, I feel like someone here held back. Or if it's not that, because I'm picking up for some of you, this is related to finances. And some of you, this is related to a relationship. So I'm getting two storylines. Um, the first storyline is someone here is thinking about having a conversation with someone from their past. And in the past, I feel like you may have wanted to re reconcile with someone, but you held back. For others of you, this is you thinking about going on a vacation, taking a trip somewhere, um, somewhere that you are familiar with. It's a happy space for you, but you may need to save up money in order to do so. All right. So pick whatever storyline it is. And let me know in the comment section. Just type in vacation or love. But yeah. That's what I'm getting. So someone here is. Um, patiently waiting. Okay. Patiently waiting for the right time. The right opportunity to move forward. With this. 
but you're in the near future. I see you continuing to work towards your goals. Okay. You're continuing to put the work into the union, continuing to work so that you can take a vacation. Some of you are working on staying in a positive mindset. Okay. Because you're in fear that something here is not going to work out in your favor and you're going to have to put an end to it anyway. Okay. Some of you are in fear that something here is not going to work out in your favor and you are going to have to put an end to it. Some of you are waiting for the results. You're waiting for um, to have enough money to go towards your vacation or to go on your vacation. Okay. And you're hoping that you can continue to move towards progress here. Okay. Because I feel like you're working hard. Some of you feel like you deserve to have this break. If, if this is a situation regarding love, you are feeling like you deserve to be with this person. Um, you're looking forward to progress. You feel like you put so much work into this union that you cannot just turn your back or walk away, okay? Because you love your person. Could be dealing with a Gemini, all right? So, Pisces, that's what I have for you. I know that was seemed like it was all over the place, but I was picking up two different storylines, finances and money or work and money, all right? I'm going to move on to the sign of Aries. And don't forget, each sign will be timestamped. Aries. Don't forget to press the thumbs up image if it resonates. All right, let's see. Aries. Aries, right now, some of you could be thinking about a Leo. Could be thinking about a Taurus as well. Okay, you got the Seven of Pentacles for your past energy, along with this Ten of Cups. Overall energy for you is the Page of Swords. Okay. Something sticky right there. I don't know what the hell that is, but. So, Aries. Some of you are focused on a higher level of commitment. You're focused on a higher level of commitment. Um, I do feel like you may be getting advice from family and friends about a commitment or a relationship. I feel like in the past, something here in the past came to a halt for you regarding love, but you were able to push through it. And I feel like you found your happiness. Some of you, this is a new beginning in love for you. Okay. Yeah. Some of you, um, you're getting information. You're coming up with new ideas. Communicating exactly what it is that you want. It's like you're sharing information with your person because you want this relationship to move forward to a higher level of commitment. So you are setting your boundaries. You are communicating exactly what it is that you want. So that there will not be any confusion, any confusion, but you fear that something here is not going to work out or something here is not going to be stable. Some of you are in fear of the finances regarding the situation. So it's like you're weighing your options. Some of you um, may work a lot, so you may fe fear that you and your person will lack quality time together. OK, you're hoping that that part of the relationship changes with the death card here, Scorpio's energy, because you enjoy this person's company. Um, you do want to move forward. You want some type of progress here. And I feel like I feel like that's what you're working towards. I'm definitely getting that's what you're working towards. I just let me pull one more card. 
One more. Because I see someone here has a platform. It's either you or your person or in the limelight some kind of way. And I feel like that that is an issue within this union. Because it's like it's taken away from the time that you two get to spend with each other. Okay. Yeah, I see you two com communicating about this. There's a conversation that's going to take place. And I feel like you're being honest. Your person will be honest. And it will spark a new beginning and a new um, platform for your your union okay so it's just a matter of a conversation that leads you and your person to a higher level of commitment okay all right so that's what i have for you aries i am going to move on to the next sign which i think is uh taurus okay we have taurus gemini and then cancer i believe taurus gemini and then cancer I will try not to be before you too long because I will be going live tonight. So I kind of want to save my voice. Let's see. Taurus. Hey, Crystal. How are you? One more. Let's see. Taurus energy for this week for Taurus. Oh, that's too many cards. That was like half the deck. <laughs> Taurus. <clears throat> okay. I'm doing well. Okay, we got the Seven of Pentacles, High Priestess. Okay, so there, are, some of you are waiting and watching, but you may be keeping it a secret. You're waiting, watching, keeping it a secret. Okay, yeah, you're, I feel like some of you are definitely waiting for something. You could be spying on someone at this time. Checking out their social media page, driving past their home, their workplace. Trying to get some information. You're trying to, I see you got the magician card here, overall energy. So you're in manifestation mode. You're trying to gain some type of clarity. Trying to gain clarity. You said the eclipse got you feel, girl, let me tell you something. When I say I've been seeing all kinds of animals roaming around, <laughs> I do. I definitely, definitely feel the change. Like a bird flew past, right past my face earlier. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> but that happens to me like often, oftentimes when I go outside, for whatever reason, the animals gravitate towards me. Like one time I went out, if there was a missing dog out there and um, someone had posted a sign that they were looking for their dog. Or it was a lost dog or whatever. And when I went out, the dog came right to me. Okay. All right, Taurus. So your overall energy is the magician. So you're manifesting clarity. Some of you are manifesting a conversation with their page of swords. Some of you are manifesting a new beginning but you may be waiting for the right time, the right opportunity. You're waiting for something to change after some type of tower moment, okay? You fear having a conversation with this person 
And I feel like you fear having a conversation with this person because some of you want a new beginning in love. You want to start over. You Again, there's clarity here. So you're waiting for some type of clarity. But you are in fear that things are not going to go in your favor because there was some type of disappointment here. Some type of um, abandonment took place. Someone walked away from this union. And I feel like it may be because of an argument, a third-party situation, um, some type of emotional pain, betrayal, disloyalty. Someone walked away from this union. Yeah, so with the hangman here at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy, some of you are feeling like if you go towards this person, um, you're not going to be able to have progress or move forward. Things are going to be stuck. So you're not doing anything. You're waiting for the right time and you're trying to manifest a conversation between you and this person. So you're basically, you're still waiting. Okay. All right. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. I'm going to move on to the sign of Gemini now. Let's see what's going on with the sign of Gemini. Gemini. Yeah, the um the other day I was walking my dog and I saw some ears sticking up from the ground. So I'm like, what the hell is that? A rabbit. I was like, okay. And I had to tell my dog, do not mess with that rabbit. Leave the rabbit alone. He was trying to, but I when I told him to leave the rabbit alone, he kind of calmed down. I have to put on a stern voice with him. <laughs> All right, so Gemini, some of you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries. A Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries. So Gemini, I feel like some of you are thinking about a reconciliation. Okay, you may want to go out, hang out with this person. I do feel like you got... The nine of cups here twice. So I feel like this person is a wish fulfillment for you or reconnecting with this person will be a wish fulfillment for you. Okay, there's a lot of love here, a lot of nurturing, a lot of care. Um, I feel like this person balances you out some kind of way. They are supportive. And remember, the energies can always be vice versa. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. But right now, you may be thinking about rushing towards this person, okay? Some of you, your wish is for you and this person to come back together, but you may be keeping this a secret. You may not be letting this person know that you want to be with them, and it's because of some type of tower moment. This could be someone you were in a long-term committed relationship with. Some of you could, be, could have been married to this person, but something in this union changed. And it created a tower moment. Someone here may have been put out of a home, left a home, okay? But there's definitely some type of long-term committed energy here. And it, I feel like this is a union that kind of like fell apart. You're hoping that you and this person can have a conversation and move forward in love. Because you still have a lot of love here for this person. I'm not really, like, picking up this person's energy at all. I do feel like if you present this proposal to this person, you this person will take time out, weigh their options, and make a decision. Okay? Yeah, for some of you, Ace of Pentacles, this person will 
or is willing to revisit this. But again, I feel like some of you need to have an honest conversation in order for the emotions and the forgiveness to come into play and to surface. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Gemini's. I'm going to move on to Cancer now. We have Cancer, Leo, and then Libra. Cancer, Leo, and then Libra. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <clears throat> One more. All right. Cancer. Current energy for the sign of Cancer. The moon card. So, Cancer, this is your energy along with Pisces. You got Virgo energy here. So, you could be dealing with another Cancer, a Pisces, or a Virgo. Some of you may be withdrawn at this time. You're trying to gain some type of clarity. I feel like you're trying to listen or you are like listening to your intuition at this time. Some of you are withdrawn from someone and it's because you're needing answers in some kind of way. But you may be keeping it to yourself. You're being patient at this time. You're waiting for the right time, waiting to, to gain the clarity that you need. Okay. You're in search of the truth, okay? There was some type of arguing, fussing, and fighting in the past, but I feel like you stood your ground with this uh, chariot card here. You stood your ground. Yeah. I'm seeing arguing, fussing, fighting, competition here, other uh, people involved. Tensions are rising. And I see you moving forward. Moving forward or moving on, okay? Um, I do feel like you are balanced at this time or you're trying to figure out how to balance out your energy at this time. You do have a lot of love for this person, but you may be feeling like this person is self-centered. They only think about themselves, okay? They could be drinking a lot. Some of you are... Um, you love this person, and this person is your wish fulfillment, okay? And some of you are in fear that your this union will not end successfully. You're in fear that the union will not end successfully because of a conversation, an argument. Some of you may be feeling like you're going to have to cut this person off. There is definitely some type of disappointment here. I see a painful ending due to some type of argument. But then you have a new beginning on the other side of it. So let me just see what was this. What was the argument about? What was this argument about or this disagreement, this disappointment? What, what happened? I have to uh, pull more cards for your reading just to be clear. Can't leave it like that. What was this argument about? Okay, the King of Swords. So this could have been over uh, a Sagittarius. There was something here that needed to be balanced because you have balance here twice. You wanted someone here to be honest. Someone here was telling lies. And I feel like this person was telling lies and you walked away. You block their energy because they were lying to you. This may have had something to do with money. Someone was only thinking about themselves regarding money. You got the king and the queen of swords here. The justice card is here. Okay. Yeah, something here 
I feel like something here is changing in a relationship. It looks like some, and it has something to do with money. Someone, something here is taking too long. Someone here is taking too long. You may feel like this person is being selfish. They only want what they want. They're not really thinking about you. Some of you are trying to manifest a new beginning. Okay, you may have cut someone off, whether it's physical or emotionally, but you're manifesting a new beginning. I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning with the same person. I'm not getting like a new energy here. So I'm going to move on to Leo's. Let's see. What's here for Leo's? Leo and their person. What is here? Who's next? Is this Virgo? Because yesterday, the, okay, Leo. We got Leo, Virgo, and then Libra. Let's see. Leo's, Virgo's, and then Libra's. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Leo, you may be wanting to talk about a new beginning with someone. You're thinking about a new beginning. Okay, you got the Ten of Pentacles and a Ten of Cups here. So something here in the past regarding a job may have come to an end. Something stable may have come to an end. This could have something to do with a family situation. There could, this could be like a breakup. Because you have a new beginning here. There's some type of communication coming in about a new beginning. A new beginning, a new opportunity. This could be a new job coming in for some of you. I see a, um, a conversation about a job. And I see you contemplating, trying to um, like decide on if you want to what you want to do with this offer. You have an offer coming in. You're deciding on what it is that you want to do with this offer. Yeah. Some of you are... If this is not a job coming in, this is an offer for a higher level of commitment coming in, and you're contemplating if you want to nurture it or... If you want to move towards stability in this union, because but you fear that things are not going to be stable here. There's a fear here of some type of unstable energy. Things are not going to be secure in some kind of way. You're in fear that this person is not reliable. Okay. So you're needing clarity. Okay, this is you with the sun card needing clarity. Should you walk away or should you step up to the plate and um, move towards something more stable in this union? Some of you may have children with this person. Could be an Aries involved. Yeah, so I feel like you have an offer coming in. But with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, I feel like you are wanting to move towards some type of progress, but you're not going to rush the decision. You're not rushing this decision. It's like just because this offer was um, presented to me, you know, doesn't mean that I have to take the first thing or the first offer to, that comes along. So I see you like, you know, holding back on giving this person or if this is a job, you're giving, giving it some time before you decide on what you want to do. You're going to make the best decision for you. Okay. All right. Let's see Virgos. What's going on with Virgos? We have Virgos, Libras, and then Scorpio. Virgos, Libra, 
and then Scorpio. Virgos, Libras, and Scorpios. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Three of Swords. Oh, seven of swords. What? Oh, ten of swords. What the hell? What's going on? Oh, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Sheesh. So there was some type of argument. Could be due to a third party situation. Someone here could have been sneaky. Someone was here was a fraud. Someone here tried to get away with something. Okay. Could be a Pisces with the hangman at the bottom of the deck. Oh, something here is definitely stuck and not moving forward. I feel like there's a lack of communication because in the past there was some type of painful ending, a betrayal. Someone here ruined a relationship. Okay. And it's because they thought that they could have stole something from you. They were being dishonest. They thought they were getting away with something. But I feel like with the magician card, Gemini Virgo's energy, someone here is needing clarity. Someone's trying to trying to manifest a new beginning trying to manifest clarity. They're trying to manifest some type of interaction with you or you them. Someone here is waiting for the right time, the right opportunity, because you and this person could be at a distance from each other. You could live at a distance from each other. And someone here is wanting to move forward, but they are waiting for the right time to come in. I do feel like in the near future that if this person comes near you at this time, there there will be, or if they come towards you in the near future, if it's not the right time, there this will lead to an argument, fussing, fighting, bickering back and forth, some type of confusion and conflict. Someone here is in competition with you or you're in competition with them. Someone here, um, there's a lot of tension here. Someone here is territorial. Someone here is petty as hell, and I feel like this will be a clashing of the egos. So you are, and I feel like this may have something with this nine of pentacles. This could have something to do with money, um, but I feel like, I feel like when this person comes towards you, you're in fear that they're going to disrupt your, your comfort in some kind of way, because right now, you may be at peace. You're focused on yourself. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. When this person comes towards you, they're going to disrupt that peace, okay? Because they're wanting some type of forgiveness. Could be a Taurus. This person is wanting some type of forgiveness, but you're, you're blocking them. So that is what's going to spark this argument, fussing and fighting that's here. Because this person wants to... Once your forgiveness, they want to move forward and they are going to want you to make a decision about moving forward. It's like now. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, you're happy and content. You're free of this nonsense or of this person. And they're going to be upset because it's creating stuck energy. And now they're ready to move forward and they're upset because you walked away from them. Yeah. Yeah. So they are sitting in sorrow, okay? They're having regrets, crying over spilled milk, okay? Because they are wanting you to accept them back into your life. And I feel like you've moved on, okay? So Virgos, that's what I have for you. I'm going to move on to the sign of Libra. Let's see what's here for the sign of Libra. We have Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius. Let's see what's here for the sign of Libra. What's here? What's here? What's here? Mm -hmm. 
Libra. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, these cards be having me cranking up. All right, Five of Wands. Some of you are confused about a relationship or reconciling with someone. You got the Justice card in the and your energy. Gemini's energy is here. I do feel like you wanted some type of balance in the past with this person. Some of you are focused on a higher level of commitment with someone. Let me see. There's an offer being presented. Okay. There's an offer being presented to you. And I feel like. I feel like this is, you're confused about it because there are other people involved, okay? I'm looking at this two of cups here, and to me, I see, it looks, it appears to be an exchange of love, but it's not an equal exchange. It's like the masculine energy is reaching out for the feminine's energy but holding on to his cup. Okay. So I feel like you may be ready, willing, and able to move forward in love with someone. And this person wants your love, but they're not willing to exchange their love equally with your love. Okay. So <clears throat> you're focused on yourself. For some of you, you've gotten the clarity that you need that this this um, situation is um, is not for you. And I feel like it may be because with the lover's card, someone here has a decision in love to make. And this is why this person is not giving up their cup. Okay. Although I feel like you both feel comfortable with each other. You're, um, there are some type of fulfillment here. It's, not, it's still not an equal exchange of love. In the near future, someone's coming in wanting, wanting forgiveness. But for you, I also feel like you have a higher level of commitment coming your way. Or this is this person coming in. It could be a Taurus with the Hierophant here. This person is coming in wanting forgiveness. But you're in fear of giving this person a second chance because they broke your heart due to some type of third party energy. Okay? So you're hoping that you can continue to um nurture yourself, evolve, develop um and take action to go towards the things that you love. Take action to continue to heal and to continue to move forward without this person because this person is wanting to come back in. They want some type of recognition. They want you to give them their attention. But I feel like if you decided to give this person your attention, it's going to leave you like this. Alone, up at night, crying, um, worried, feeling anxious. And it's because this person has a decision between two to me. All right. So that's what I have for you, Libras. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Scorpios. Energy for Scorpios. <laughs> oh boy. Scorpios. What's wrong? Hmm? <laughs> uh, Scorpios. Okay. The Empress could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Five of Cups.
Lib uh, Libra. Scorpio, some of you are, um, I see some disappointment here. It could be your, the mother or father of your children. There are some disappointments surrounding your significant other. But because you have the emperor, which is Aries energy, and the empress, both are out. So there's some disappointment within a relationship. You, Some of you are feeling like you're thinking about moving on from something, but there is fear here surrounding um, letting this person go. I do feel like a conversation took place in the past and it brought forth some type of clarity. For some of you with this emperor card here, some of you are focused on your stability, your livelihood at this time, your well-being. Okay. There, let me see, why is the emperor card here for the overall energy? Someone in the past, there could have been a conversation about some, someone in the past thinking about themselves and being selfish. Someone in the past may have been selfish. Okay. Yes. So some of you are thinking about reconciling with someone. There's a reconciliation on your mind. You're trying to manifest a reconciliation, but you need more clarity because you don't want to end up like feeling stressed out, worry, anxious, paranoid. So I feel like right now, this could be in regards to a Pisces. I feel like right now, you may be holding back until you gain the clarity that you need to move forward because you do want to move forward with this person, Cancer's energy. You're willing to work on this union, but for some reason, you're overthinking. You're, you've placed yourself inside of some type of mental prison and you are, hey, star lover, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. You place yourself inside of some um, mental prison. Some of you are restricted from seeing this person. Okay. Um, I feel like you, you're going to put this person on a back burner for now. Because you are wanting to go towards a new beginning. And I feel like. Whatever took place regarding this um, betrayal or this loss or this heartbreak is the reason why you're holding back from this person. Okay? Yeah. So, you're doing, basically, you're doing what's best for you at this time, Scorpios. Okay? It's like this person may have burned you once. You're not going to allow them to burn you again. All right, let's see. Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting. Sagittarius. Oh. wonder if the mail... I just saw the mail truck. I wonder if the mail came. I didn't hear anything, but I saw... I see the truck. Let's see. Sagittarius, we have Sagittarius, Capricorn, and then Aquarius, and then the Collective. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. So you're thinking about working on something. That's where your focus is right now. Some of you are focusing on a new beginning. Could be have something to do with a Scorpio. Some of you are focused on an ending or a new beginning. There's some type of transformation. I feel like this could be uh, you working on the end of a cycle or a new beginning. Some of you may have quit a job or you walked away from a job. Could have been something where they were being unfair to you. 
or someone, if this is in regards to love, someone was being unfair. Okay, if you, okay. <laughs> oh, you're a Capricorn Venus? I am too. Capricorn Venus, um, Aquarius Sun, and Scorpio Moon. All right, so Sagittarius, in the past. Okay. <laughs> I feel like in the past, there was a proposal here. But I feel like this proposal required hard work. You presented a proposal to someone. Okay, you, you offered someone a cup of your love. But I feel like this like whole situation regarding this relationship stressed you out, caused you to feel overwhelmed. And I feel like some of you with this ten of wands here, you put it into a relationship. This is an ending, especially with the death card here. You put an end to a relationship that stressed you out. So right now, you could be like trying to figure out what, what and where, what you want to do next. Where do you want to go next? If you want to be in a relationship, you're weighing your options. Okay, some of you could be dating around at this time. Okay, I do see multiple obligations, multiple um, people, multiple responsibilities. So you could be like uh, needing to do some time management, manage your time more wisely. Okay, I feel like there is... And I do see you in the near future taking a time out. And I see an offer being presented to you again, but I feel like you are rejecting it. It could be this person coming in from your past to, with an offer of love and you're rejecting this offer because right now you're focused on yourself. You freed yourself from a relationship. So now it's like you're enjoying this time this single life, okay? You're enjoying this single life. You want to be friends with this person, but you're in fear that every time you communicate with this person, this person is talking about getting back together. And you're like, no, I'm, I don't want that. Like, you, you did me wrong. You were deceptive. You betrayed me in some kind of way. You stabbed me in my back and I'm moving on. I want to leave this behind because you were dishonest. And the tower moment is in your outcome. I feel like there will be an argument because this person is someone that wants what they want. They're not really thinking about what you want. And um, I see this lead, lead into an argument. But you're going to release this person permanently because there's a new beginning in love here for you. Okay. You're looking at this person as being negative. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. But this person is negative and you don't want to be bothered with them anymore. So I feel like you're going to reject their offer. All right, I am moving on to Capricorn. We have Capricorn, Aquarius, and then we have the Collective. Let's see, let's see. Capricorn, Aquarius, and then the collective. Okay. All right. So we got the five of cups here. 
King of Cups. Hangman. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Got a lot of water energy here. I feel like right now, there's some disappointment about a relationship. Okay? Something here in the past was stuck. And I feel like it may have been stuck because someone here was trying to be a player. This is someone that you may have felt comfortable with. You felt at home with this person. Um, this person is basically like a wish fulfillment. And I do feel like you love this person and you want things to work out and come together between you and this person. But... You may be viewing this person as being a player. Okay. For others of you, in the past, you may have let go of this union because things were stuck. Okay. And you may have wanted this person to rush towards you or you wanted this person or this person wanted you to rush towards them to like blend a family or come together, so to say. And someone here is manifesting something more stable in the near future. Someone's manifesting some type of higher level of commitment, um, a new beginning. But I, I feel like you may not know about this. Because you're in fear that this person is keeping secrets and hiding something. You're in fear that this person is given to you and someone else. But what you don't see is this person could be a Capricorn, I mean, a, a Cancer or a Pisces. This person is manifesting something stable and long term. They're just not telling you. Yeah, there's a new beginning in love here. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups is here. This is something that you don't see. For some of you, this is new love coming your way. Eight of Wands. So this is unexpected. Like, you don't see this coming. So it's. I feel like it's going to shock you, but it will bring forth clarity. It'll bring forth joy, and it'll bring forth happiness. Could have something to do with a Leo. All right? So there's a new beginning here, and things are going to change quickly. You're not going to see this coming. So maybe I feel like whatever it is that you were thinking about this person, it was all an illusion or it was just in your, you were in your um, head space, like overthinking. All right. All right. So let's move on to Aquarius. We have Aquarius and then a collective. Aquarius and then the collective. Let's see. Aquarius. What are you doing? This dog is always doing something. And what is it? Oh my goodness, I tell you, I tell you. Okay, so Aquarius, some of you may have blocked someone. There's either, this is either you blocked someone or some of you um, feel like you're in a stagnant situation. Something here is not moving. Could have something to do with a Gemini. Okay. There's a decision that needs to be made, but someone here is confused. Could have, have something to do with an Aries, a Cancer. Gemini's energy is here. Um, I do feel like if things are feeling stuck or feeling like they're not moving, I do feel like 
you will overcome, you will persevere, things will start to move forward. But this is going to require you to listen to your intuition. It's like trust the process. There will be forward movement. And although you are not able to see exactly what's going on behind the veil or behind the scene, um, it's not meant for you to know or to see it at right now. Okay, the universe is working things out in your favor at this time, but you you're you're not permitted to see what's going on at this time. Your fear is that things will not work out, things are not going to be stable. Okay. But I feel like if you maintain structure, stability, um, discipline mentally. I see things working out in your favor. I see progress and I see forward movement, okay? Some of you are moving towards victory. I see money coming your way, some type of promotion. This could be um, regarding a relationship or a job. There are some type of rewards, good news, progress coming your way. Some of you are going to be put in a limelight some kind of way. Um, you're going to receive some type of recognition for your work that you do. And I feel like this is you feeling beat down, feeling like you, you're tired and you're not wanting to go on regarding this situation, whether it's your work or a relationship, but you're going to overcome. You're wounded, but you're going to overcome. Yeah, because of the work that you already put into this. Okay, some of you, this is love. You and your person are going to come together. There's going to be an equal give an equal give and take, an equal exchange, reciprocity, whatever you want to call it. But something here is working out in your favor. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I am going to do the collective and then I'm going to close this out. I got so much little, little trinkets <laughs> on this table. Okay. Let's see. What is here for the collective? That must be that must be the uh the daddy squirrel. That squirrel is humongous. <laughs> Ooh, Papa Squirrel. All right, collective. What's that? energy for the collective all right so i see someone here having a conversation manifesting a conversation the magician in the reverse hmm. so someone was being manipulative in the past okay someone's having a conversation about a new opportunity a new opportunity um, getting more information, clarity is coming out of this conversation. I feel like in the past, someone here was being manipulative. They were being vindictive in some kind of way. And it may have resulted in you holding back your energy collective. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo. Right now, someone here is having regrets, crying over spilled milk. Wanting forgiveness because you may have moved on or this person moved on. Okay. I do see someone here is like, could be nurturing themselves, taking care of themselves. Someone here could have changed up their look, their appearance. Someone here is focused on some type of spiritual growth. Okay. Could be a Libra or a Taurus involved. This looks like the end of a relationship. Yeah. You stop investing in this union. Okay. And I feel like you stopped investing because someone here was not putting the work in. They were causing you to feel confused. There was arguing, fussing, and fighting, bickering back and forth. Oh, 
someone wants to take action, but I feel like you I feel like this is done. Okay? Because you got the double card here. This person may not have made change. They're toxic. They're um they could be a Capricorn, but I feel like this person is like they have addictions. For some of you with this Queen of Wands here, this person could be addicted to sex. They could be addicted to porn. There's some type of addiction here. Could be addicted to drugs, alcohol, whatever, whatever it is, there's an addiction here. And I feel like that's why you're releasing this person because you already know that this person is a trickster, okay? And they're just wanting to maybe reattach themselves to you to like have some type of control over you or over the situation or to make them feel like they're in control. So I don't see you and this person coming back together. All right. So I am going to leave it at that collective. This is the All Signs General Reading for this week. Um, I will be going live tonight for live questions and answers. So if you are wanting to join in, that will begin at 7 8, I'm sorry, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can pre-post your questions. I will suggest that you pre-post between the hours of 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. <laughs> because sometimes when you post too early, the questions get lost and the, uh, some kind of way they get lost. But yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for, to everyone that joined in, Star Lover Crystal. I appreciate you all. Don't forget to press the thumbs up image. Be safe. I am sending love, light, peace, and healing energy to you as well as your families. Please be safe out there. Um, hopefully, uh, I will see you later on today. Be safe, and I will see you next time. Peace.